Ladies, can we just say, I mean, for those of you who don't live in London, you don't understand the total joy that we are experiencing today, which is the first truly spring, early summer even day in London. I'm looking outside behind my window. There is not a cloud in the sky. We're using our garden. We've had meetings out there. We're having lunch out there. People are wearing colour! And, um, and it's joyful. It just changes the mood immediately. It just shows how pathetically influenced we are by weather. Um, and for those of you who are in Australia watching this, you're going into winter. Oh, poor you. Um, but I'm just doing a quick little routine today and then I'm just going to show you some makeup that I will wear when I'm wearing bright colours because I think my makeup does change according to the colours I'm wearing. And, you know, there's great opportunity to be able to wear colours you think you couldn't wear if you have the right makeup. So I just want to show you that um, for a second. But I'm starting with a little cleanse. And um, I've noticed I haven't been drinking enough water. So um, today I'm making a big effort. I don't know how many of you um, are good water drinkers, but I feel... Looking at the sun, it reminds me about hydration. I've done about three quarters of a litre. I'm gonna try and get my two litres in because what I've been noticing, and it can't be down to anything else, is that I've got really, my lines upon my lips are becoming a bit stronger and my skin, whatever I was putting on, it felt a bit dry. So that's why I'm using, um, it is, oh God, it's True Botanicals, yes, exactly. True Botanicals, and it's their hydrating cleanser. So lots of companies say they're hydrating, but True Botanicals is such a great brand, and they have some exquisite products. It's a US brand, organic. Um, I think they ship to the UK now, which is good. Uh, and they have a range of lots of different things, but I'm, their toner, is, their hydrator is great. So I'm gonna start with that. Good morning, good morning, good afternoon. Hello, everybody. When will I be coming to Australia? Can I say, what we are doing on the site, little updates on the site. But first of all, we're coming to Stockholm next Thursday and Friday. So if you haven't booked your ticket yet in for the masterclass, please start. I'm wearing the yellow in honor of the Swedes. Haven't got the blue on as well, but it's gonna be an incredibly fun two days. So Dublin was very successful for us and we loved it. And Stockholm's going to be interesting. I'm really excited to go back there because I have spent four years filming TV shows in Sweden. So please tell your friends if they live in, in Stockholm too. And if you want to take part, if you go on to Trini London, then it says Trini London on tour. And you can put in um, to get a ticket for our masterclass. So where are we going to next? I feel that we will be going on tour. It is a part of what we're doing for the future. And in order to decide where we should go to next, we do a mixture of things. We see who's ordered from which places. We see who's nominated their city on Trini London, which is something you can go in and do. And if you nominate for under the 20, that's great. If you want to nominate your own, that's good. But there's, we might grow that list. So if we suddenly get... Like Toronto, we didn't have on the list, sorry Toronto, and we got so many nominations for Toronto, so we'll put them on the main list. Then, once we've had a few thousand, we'll then do a graph, and you can see which city we're coming to next, because the one with the most is where we're gonna go. That's the idea, along with who's ordered from there and, and what Facebook and Instagram followers we have. So please get involved, nominate your city, anyone watching, and um, then we will be coming to you sooner. And in the meantime, go online, do your match to me, realize the process um, is actually not that difficult. Subtle energies, I, I did this um, a few days ago, but subtle energies, it's the most wonderful smell. Oh, that's so good. It's like an aura protection body mist. If somebody's, you know, somebody's kind of giving you a hard time putting out a bad vibe, if you believe in that kind of thing, this aura mist you put on you, just, all my good energy will stay with me and not get disrupted. Um, I'm going to put on a little bit, I feel slightly dry actually, my skin today, as I said before. So I'm just going to do a little bit of, what am I going to do? I might do one of my old favourites, which is 
Antipodes H2O Plumping Serum. This is something I just was telling someone about who's on a bit of a budget and they wanted a lovely serum. And it's just, it smells very medicinal, this serum. And it's got, I can't remember now what it's got in it. I love the smell. It is that herbal smell, but not distasteful herbal. And it just makes your skin plump. It's not something that makes it um, hydrated because it's working a different way in a sort of hyaluronic acid kind of way. Um, but it gives life back to the skin. You know when you feel drained and tired, it gives life back to the skin. That's the way I can say it. Now I want to get my glasses, which are here, because I do want to read your comments, even though, yet again, I can't see the bloody screen. Um, you just saw that, that looks like summer. Do I like the Foreo? I love the Foreo. That's what I was using. Love your outfit. You look such a sun. Thank you. The sun is shiny. I know. Sorry. Um, thank you very much. Drink water from a straw. It helps you have more. Really? That's so interesting. I love that. Um, Adam Maniacs coming to an at-home appointment today. You know that we do do appointments at home. Um, I'm going to just put on today now this cream, which I also love, which is Confidence in a Cream. It's from a cosmetics. It's actually when you're feeling a little bit hydrated. This is like putting lay embryos on your skin. Or it's that, you know, instant feeling of hydration. Instant, instant feeling of hydration. Very nice cream. Let me show it to you again. Sorry, I didn't show it a lot. Confidence in a cream. There it is. Um, oh, yes. Okay, so now I've got bare face. And um, let me just, sorry, I'm going to quickly go through guys. Hello. Hello, love the makeup range. Thank you very much, darling. What's the pink sponge you're using? It's a Foreo Sweeney Heather. It's a way I clean my face and it actually vi vibrates like that. Um, and it helps to just move around my lymphatic system, wake up my skin, and I use it with every cleanser. Sam Vezzi, you've just ordered your first stack. Fantastic, Sam. Um, good morning from New Jersey. Lovely. Neves from Spain. Hello, darling Samhita. Good morning. Good afternoon, wherever you are. Um, uh, so excited you've come to stop me. I'll see you there. Wonderful. Tell your friends. Get them to book. Come to the masterclasses. We're going to have so much fun in Stockholm, and we're going to get... So many women up on the stage, everyone's going to be seen to in every sense of the word. Um, uh, thank you. Um, Edinburgh, yes. Uh, you know, we are looking at um, Scott. So please just scream out where you, where you would like to come to. We would love that. On here and I will, um, I will um, go through all of them. All right. So I'm just now going to, hold on a second. Um, okay, comment on citric acid compared to AHA, BHA. Citric, I don't know. I mean, asorbic is what vitamin C is derived from. AHA, alpha hydroxy acids, and those are like salicylic, medelic, mendelic, um, you know, um, better BHAs are more for oily combination skin. Um, Trinidad, Australia, I know you keep telling me I've got to somehow, I've got to somehow do it, haven't I? Got to somehow do it. It's just, okay, so now, I've got on lavender and yellow, all right? And the yellow on its own is all right because it's, it's the right kind of yellow, but it can also slightly drain me and I need a pop of something that's going to balance it out. So what I'm gonna do is, especially on a day like this, because this morning I did a um, peel on my face from this product I'm testing for future, um, and so, if you do any peel or glycolics, you must wear, or any retinols, you've got to wear SPF 30 minimum in a city, um, because otherwise you are going to get pigmentation probably if you start. Oh shit, did I put that on my outfit? Yes, I did. Typical! <laughs> so bloody typical. Hold on a second, I got a wardrobe malfunction. Can I just say, do you know this trick? I did this all the time when I was filming, is when I have a wardrobe malfunction like this, where I've got some oil, I've just got dropped a dollop of cream. Can you see there on my top? So I'm gonna wipe off the excess, but the oil base is still there, there. So wet wipe, um, and I'm gonna rub it and saturate it with a wet wipe. I hope you can see this, because I can't see what I'm filming because my screen's gone dark. So I've got rub, 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 rub. Really rub it. Rub. Ah. I think it's come out. Anyway, we'll see if it dries by the end of this. So, 
There it is, my BFF, just about to drop it again. I'm gonna put the BFF on my face. Um, and yeah, I can't, I really can't say enough the importance of doing SPF for many, many reasons, because there's a lot of um, talk at the moment about the amount of time we are on our phones and on our computers and on our laptops and iPads. Um, at night, like last night, I couldn't get sleep, so I spent two hours looking at my screen. And that light is not great for skin. And I think it's still being researched, the effects. There's actually three letters that describe it, uh, something energy, but it saps, you know, it's sort of, it's a bloody free radical, isn't it? So people are developing products to help with that. And also on a screen, you can get, a, you can buy blue screens now that will take away some of the light damage. And the other most important thing at night is really turn down your, um, turn down your uh, brightness on your phone if you don't have that automatically. Uh, but I would seriously consider investing in a blue screen and wear SPF, just wear SPF. Not to go to bed in, I'd nearly say to go to bed in, um, but just have it on all the time. Okay, so I've done a little prep on my skin. It's looking, do you see it gives a glow, a little bit of a shine. Um, it just looks fresh. And for this look, I want really fresh looking skin. So I'm gonna go straight to um, a little bit of, face here we go. I'm going to do today some, um, do that, that, and that. I'm sorry, just getting around my head what I'm going to do. Would I do a bit of colour? I might actually make myself a tiny, dare I say this, tanned. So I'm going to take Genster. Genster is the paler shade of our colour shades for a bit of a glow. It's a gel and you just rub it in like that. I'm not, I can't see on the phone by the way, so do help me if I'm not rubbing it incorrectly. Where the sun would naturally hit. So my sun would sort of hit there and it might hit there a bit. On my nose it might hit and on my chin. That's, that's as much as I would do. But that's given me a little tiny glow. Then I'm gonna go back and I'm going to do some Starlight, which is our highlighter, but it's a very natural highlighter. It's not gonna leave a strobe on your, um, on your cheek because we don't want in this lovely, bright, sunny day that you, know, you walk down the street and feel, God, I look like I've got shit loads of makeup on. I want to feel fresh and glowy. So I'm just gonna put it here and it catches the light. And then I might put a tiny bit above my eyebrow like that, below my eyebrow, and it just lifts the brow a bit like that. Um, I'm gonna do a bit of, sorry, just checking the mirror as I do it. I'm gonna then go onto a bit of cheekbones because I want a little contour here, but I don't want much else and I've just, blend it in like that, and I finish off blending it in with my palm of my hand. You see, you can literally do it without a mirror. <laughs> um, and then I'm gonna go to, because I feel today is a day for Pia. I'm a feeling Pia, I'm a feeling Pia, and then I don't bloody well have it yet. Lips, cheek, cheek, lips, cheek. Excuse me, hold on, I can't even find my own product. Ah! Okay, I've got them all in a little drawer here, Pia. Pia feels right to me, but before I put on Pia, I'm going to get a little bit of face finish because you know I mentioned about the lines above my lips. I am actually developing a product which is an amazing lip and line filler. But in the meantime, what face finish will do like that is it will just take away shine where I don't want it. So maybe above my eyebrows, I don't want it. So I just blend it and it just dilutes that shine and then it will fill in a bit above my lip line. So before I put on a strong lip, I do tend to put a little bit of face finish around my lip and it's sort of, it's one of our top selling products and it just blurs everything, blurs here, I can put it underneath my eyes, just blurs away fine lines. It's a miracle, face finish is a miracle. Um, and now I'm going to do the color. So I'll start here, but putting this on without a mirror is tricky. Pia is a lip to cheek and I'm going to start with my lip and then I'm going to decide how much cheek I put on because when you have a really strong lip, you want a bit of cheek, but not too much. So here you go. And just see when I do this, how my eye color brightens up and how the yellow suddenly I can wear. Do you see? I have no mirror. I'm doing it in the dark reflection of my phone. 
See? Okay, let me have a look. Yes, yes. That felt really like. So that, then I'll take the tiniest bit left on my cheeks and I'll just do a little bit. I can't now see how much I'm doing. I'll have to blend it in by the mirror. You get the idea. Yeah, it's not a huge amount, but it's just bringing that color to my face. And then probably the most important thing I would do with this look is I would use um, a brow because I want to have quite a strong brow. So I'm using Laverna, which is a really lovely organic brand. And I'm just putting her brow brush. Comes like that. Very inexpensive, really nice texture, builds up brow. And then I'm slightly going to um, brush them upwards like that. So I'm a bit long to do that. Now I've got to see if I did that right. Yeah, I'm staggeringly. Okay, so would I use an eye today? Maybe not, maybe this is enough because I want it to be about the yellow with that lip. So, ladies, let me quickly see your questions. Um, good morning. Um, I'm very explosive. Yes, I am explosive. Explosive is a word I might use. Um, anyway, you just started building your stat. Love it. Kiss from Milan. Hello, Francesca. Lovely to hear from you. What's the best colour? They're all good colours. If you do match to me on Trini London, you can find the right colours that suit you, and that's the joy of it. Oh, Amanda, save like mad for a stack, because darling, the other thing is, these little pots, which then make, taking your makeup around, so when I go around today, I'll literally take that, that's my whole makeup bag, and um, they last so long. That peel will last me a year. Um, probably Lip Glow will last three months if you use it every day. BFF, some people run out in a month, some people run out in six months. Depends if you're a one pumper, a two pumper, a four pumper. Um, but, so I think cost per wear which is something I always do, Amanda, is important on it. Um, you bought pretty much everything you recommend. Victoria Health is now my new fake shot experience. Tina Beeson, it's fantastic, that site. Um, I love it. Um, anyway, <laughs> ladies, thank you for all your messages. And keep putting in your uh, town. So if you watch this later, do put in, if you would like Trini uh, London to visit you, put in the town you live in, because it gives us an idea of places. and. Go to Trini London and nominate your city because I would love to hear our plan. Mark and I, my CEO, are getting out a map of the world after we come back from Stockholm and we're plotting where and when we go next. So if you want to be on that list, otherwise, go online, do your match to me and the colours you come, you get will suit you because 99.4% of the people who do match to me um, get the right colours. <laughs> So if you're the 0.6%, it could be that you see yourself, you know, sometimes I think women who wear a foundation, this is what we found a little bit in Dublin, because it's not much sun there. So a lot of women wore a foundation, the shade that they wanted their skin to be, not the shade their skin was. So a lot of the things we're talking to about ladies in Dublin is choose a foundation shade of your skin color and then do a glow on top or a slight, you know, a golden glow on top. But then it will sit better and people will then see your skin at its best and see the glow, whatever glow you put on top, whether it's a rosy, fresh, fresh face look with blusher or whether it's a bronze look with golden glow. Anyway, tips of the day, those of them. Have a wonderful afternoon, ladies, and we'll catch up soon.